Hello and welcome to this infinitely virtual training video. In this tutorial we will learn how to manage your vShield firewall with vCloud Director. In the first section we will look at vCloud firewall management and in the second section we will concentrate on vCloud NAT rules. vCloud Director is used to manage your vApps and VMs. It is a web-based management interface allowing console access. Ability to start, stop, reboot, install operating systems and boot from CD, DVD and floppy drives are some of the features. Let's log in to vCloud. Open either Internet Explorer or Firefox. Navigate to https colon forward slash forward slash vcd01.infinitelyvirtual.com forward slash cloud forward slash org forward slash your account number. The URL and account number are available in the customer portal under technical contacts and are included in the getting started email. Enter your username and password. Then click Login. This section concentrates on vCloud firewall management. Firewalls are an important part of the network and server security. Unless defined, all incoming traffic is blocked if the firewall is enabled. You may have applications and servers that require one or more ports to be open such as web servers, FTP servers and email servers. The following instructions show step by step how to add, delete and edit rules. Once logged in, click Administration. Click Networks and select your network. Click the Actions icon, then click Configure Services. Click the Firewall tab and select Enable Firewall. To add a firewall rule, click Add. Give the rule a name, for example HTTP. Select Traffic Direction. Select Incoming for any traffic you want to allow from outside such as from a web server. Enter the source. Type in asterisks to allow all or type in a specific IP, subnet or range. This can be used to allow only certain servers or computers to connect, such as when you only want to allow remote access to a server from your office computer. Type the source port. Leave this to the default of asterisks to match any port, unless in rare cases you know the source port from where the traffic is originating from. Enter the destination. This is the server IP address, for example 192.168.0.5. Then enter the destination port. This is the port you want to open. Typing an asterisk will open all the ports. Select a protocol. TCP is the most common choice. Select Action. Check mark Enabled and then optionally you can select Log Network Traffic for Firewall Rule. Click OK. To edit a firewall rule, select a rule to edit, click Edit, make the appropriate changes and then click OK to save the changes. To delete a firewall rule, select the rule to delete, click Delete. In this section we will look at configuring vCloud NAT rules. Configuring Network Address Translation NAT rules allows use of one external IP address for multiple servers. This may be configured to map ports to internal servers and map external IP addresses to one server. To configure NAT port forwarding Click the Administration tab. Click Networks. Select the network. Make sure to select Internal Routed Network. 
click Actions and select Configure Services. Click the NAT Mapping tab. Select Add. Select the external IP. Select or type in an external port. Type in the internal server IP. Type in the internal server port. Select the protocol and click OK. To configure NAT IP translation, select IP translation. Select the external IP. Enter the internal IP and click OK. Click OK when done adding editing and deleting rules. For more information on virtual server hosting, office virtualization or cloud computing, please visit www.infinitelyvirtual.com.